what I want to do in this video is talk to you about the fractional distillation, compare it with simple distillation, and kind of give you like an idea. We have gone through melting point, we have done GCIR, we've talked about extraction as a technique, so separation of a mixture, which really could be uh, implemented to both solid as well as liquid uh, mixtures. Um, and then we also talked about recrystallization, which was of course specific to solids. And so distillation as a technique is specific to liquids, and it can be used to um, purify uh, liquids. It could be a liquid-liquid mixture, it could also be a solid-liquid mixture, so you can perhaps envision that if you mix, let's say, salt and water, whoa, 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 salt and water, You can set up your distillation, um, and if it were simple distillation, you would get the still head, of course the thermometer adapter, the thermometer. Uh, this is going to be your condenser, and your liquid is going to travel, go through the receiver adapter, and be collected in another uh, flask, uh, for that matter. Um, and so you could say that at the end of the day, the volatile, this doesn't have to be water, it could be some kind of a solvent as well. So um, the solvent, which is volatile, is going to end up uh, in the receiver flask. Receiver flask. On the other hand, your non-volatile impurity or something that boils at a much higher boiling point is going to stay behind in the round bottom flask that you began with. So a simple distillation may be used, or sometimes just referred to as distillation, that may be used if the difference in boiling point is pretty stark. Uh, you know, you're talking at, let's say, uh, your solvent boils at uh, 30 degree and the solute boiled at 150 so that's like a difference of 120 degrees so that that that, that will be uh, will be used in simple distillation um, uh, but if you or when do you use fractional distillation fractional distillation will be used or can be used when the boiling points are closer um, so, for instance, in our case, what we would have is a mixture of para-xylene and we are going to have methylene chloride, which is CH2Cl2, and we will have cyclohexane. Methylene chloride, of course, these numbers, you should look it up. Uh, in the book, but methylene chloride ballpark is somewhere around 35-ish uh, degrees Celsius. Cyclohexane is approximately ar around 78 to 80 degrees Celsius, somewhere in that range. Parazylene is much higher, close to about 138 to 140. So as you can see, um, they are different. They are different in terms of their boiling point, uh, but the difference is not stark. The difference is, you know, um, somewhere in the range of like 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. And so for that matter, simple distillation would not be able to uh, differentiate and separate out um, these fragments from the mixture. And so you have to employ fractional distillation. In practical, real life, um, where is fractional distillation used? Well, to refine petroleum. So as you know, when we first started discussing, um, recall like lecture one, day one of class, when I said that everything that you get, uh, everything that's organic in nature, uh, that you get all fine chemicals, the ultimate source for that is petroleum. It comes from petroleum industry, and a lot of solvents come from um, the refining of petro petroleum. And so sometimes you might be able to separate out, um, you know, fractions which are at boiling points of, let's say, 40 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Celsius, and 42 degrees Celsius, and you would be able to separate those out. Um, and the columns that they use in order to, um, uh, to separate those out are, you have to envision, it's, I'm telling you from personal experience, um, those are probably like about 40, 50 feet tall. So maybe double or triple the size of uh, the height of 
our lab and that's just the column so um, I still remember when I was in grad school and we had a field trip and um, the guy had to uh, essentially access one of the hose so he had to bring in a ladder to get to that particular site so just to kind of give you a, um, a feel for what I'm talking about now how would we achieve that kind of a system? Of course, then they were trying to separate out 40, 41, 42. So, you know, pretty close, uh, pretty close uh, boiling points. Uh, in our case, however, since the boiling points are a little bit farther apart, uh, we can use our distillation kit. But we are going to make it a little bit better by including glass beads. So we will have a fractionator. Um, we will fill it up with glass beads and the reason why we want to fill it up with glass beads is basically to increase the surface area and give the time to uh, for the vapors to go through and separate out in that fractionator uh, so you can separate uh, various different fragments. So let's take a look how you're going to begin and what all I expect you to accomplish within this lab. Alright, this is what we want to do.